Hello everybody, I'm Luciano Rosa speaking, always speaking about the Brazilian accent improvisation. And one more thing I would like to say is that this channel is not only for pianists. All musicians that want to play Brazilian music are invited to watch my videos, okay? If you are a saxophonist, flutist and whatever, what melodic instrument you play, you are welcome to this channel to learn more and more about the Brazilian music. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about a question a student of mine uh, asked me. is about uh, how to improvise in, the, in a samba called Apelo. Uh, let me talk about a little about this song. Apelo is a song by Baden Powell and Vinicius de Moraes. For you that doesn't know both um, both composers, Baden Powell was one of the greatest guitar players. Uh, that he played acoustic guitar, but he wasn't the greatest on the world in the world. Okay, he created a very particular style of playing of Brazilian sounding like okay and Vinicius de Moraes uh, was a very important uh, composer of lyrics in Brazilian music he did the lyrics of uh, the girl from Ipanema Baden and Vinicius created a very different style called Afro Samba Afro Samba it's a little redundant redundant name because all the sam all sambas has uh, African roots. But uh, this name was created to, to separate um, this style of samba of the others and a samba that is often in minor tunes. Uh, the, his, this samba is based on another styles of samba that are capoeira, for example. The capoeira is the same of the fight, and samba de roda, different of another sambas that were being composed. And it has a modal characteristic also, and they use pentatonic scales. It's a little different. It's kind of melody. And Vinicius and Baden created this unique kind of samba that until today we have composers doing uh, another new and, uh, and fresh compositions about it. Uh, another thing I, I could say about the Afro sambas is that they talk about um, some, some religious uh, things about the the Afro religion that is here in Brazil we call a uh, candomblé. Okay, uh, what else can I say? Ah, first uh, thing before starting to to say uh, how to improvise in apelo, I would like to play for you. Uh, I, I I'm gonna play a simple arrangement okay i'm almost doing now i don't play this this song in my repertory by heart but i'm gonna play for you to to introduce you the song okay after that we are going to talk about the improvisation in it Thank you. 
Silvas, Apelo, by Baden Powell and Vinicius de Moraes. And now we are going to talk a little about the improvisation in it, okay? I'm going to, to show you a lead sheet of it, okay? Uh, the first thing I recommend you to do uh, it's to find the find the tempo you're playing it, okay? Uh, if you are not sure of what tempo you play it, you can use a metronome and uh, tap the tempo, okay? Let me show you one example. Uh, I use this metronome, that's Pro Metronome. Um, and when I am not sure of the about the tempo I play, I I tap the tempo here. It's more or less on fifty five. Okay, bossa nova we play in two four. Okay, and uh, fifty uh, sixty five. I'm sorry, and. Um, why am I I'm, I'm calculate, calculating this? Because uh, it's important to, to use the metronome to... You, you find the, uh, what tempo is good to improvise, what... Uh, if you are playing with... Uh, you are playing some, some part easily or you are having difficulties, it's a rule that we can use to, to see if our performance is getting better or uh, it's, it's, it's not okay and uh, we, we, can, we can easily recognize if we improved some execution or if some thinking on chords is easier to to execute and for example if you are having so many difficulties slow down the tempo and uh, find a tempo that's comfortable to you okay um, let's return to to the song let me put here and I'm first thing I have to do uh, second thing, I'm sorry, uh, it's to try to improvise using chord notes, okay? I will try first to use the 55, that it's the tempo I play the song, more or less, okay? And uh, if it's com comfortable to me, uh, it will be a good sign. I, I'm gonna use 16th notes or semi quavers, okay? It's okay to improvise in this tempo, but for some of you, it won't be. There, if you play jazz, for example, there are some, uh, there could be some, some places where you won't find common harmonies to play. For example, if you play traditional jazz, okay, but. 
Another important thing, uh, question I had to answer um, is do we play, uh, for, for example, we pianists also use tensions in the chords of the left hand. Uh, if we are using tensions in the left hand, we improvise in the right hand with the tensions? No, just use to start the chord notes if the chord has three notes use the three notes and if it has four notes just use them okay because um uh, you're gonna you're gonna lost yourself and it's important uh for brazilian styles to know what the sound of chords sound like uh, when we add more notes it will be, will be important to to recognize uh, by ear what are the sounds you like to end and start the phrase and they often uh, end with chord notes then try to be the more precise possible and respect this idea of just playing chord notes okay let me return to now to people uh, who has difficult in in some place for example I'm gonna tell a little about the second system uh, for example a person had a difficult in the second system one two three fourth measure okay this measure we have D minor 7 D minor with C on the bass uh, B minor 7 flat 50 uh, flat and E7 uh, flat 9. First thing, forget the flat 9 and uh, flat 5th is important because it's part of the chord, okay, of the, the diminished, half diminished chord. Then uh, let's find a slower tempo, okay? I'm going to to take 50 as a tempo for example and try to improvise just on them I play the two D minor D minor with F on the bass okay um, uh, other question could uh, uh, you could and uh, you could could do to me it's uh, I'm, I'm play, playing just same quavers but I'm stopping and it's important to stop to make some rests okay don't play don't play all the notes play with rests because they they do a, a they create a, a sensation of ending the phrase. The, these phrases aren't sound aren't sound so creative still, but they are preparing our our mind to to think fast in the chord notes. Okay. Then I play that 50, I'm gonna, gonna play again just this part, this little part of the song, this piece of the, 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 the song. Okay, if it's, it's it, it, it became easier, I, I, uh, I'm I'm going to to make the metron go up, okay? I'm in fifty five now. One more time. Let me 
If it's difficult to you in 50, go up just two, uh, two tempos, uh, 52, 55, okay? Going, uh, improve your, your tempo slowly, okay? And on 60 now. I'm now on six five. Now I'm on the same uh, tempo that I play the th theme. Then, if this passage is, uh, is more difficult than the other parts of the theme, I can. Uh, get higher and higher because uh, if I can play in a in a higher speed than I play the theme it will be more comfor comfortable to play uh, the song okay then this, this part is difficult let's play on 70 Let me do a different phrase. Okay, different division. Um, let me do one more. A very interesting question. Uh, why are I'm just playing the left hand, the the right hand, and uh, it will be difficult to me to play just the the melody without comping. But if you ha heard the song lots of time and you know the song. If you just play chord notes, you are going to the, the harmony is going to sound you like the song. Okay, you are going to recognize the song playing the, just the harmony. If it's a very uh, it's a it's a new song to you, it's you you is the first time you are playing. This is is gonna be difficult. But if you know, uh, if you are playing a song you you like, it's. Uh, uh, it's familiar to you it will be it will be easy to to hear the song okay let me return to to the 65 tempo and uh, show you If you know this song or if you want to hear more times in the beginning of the live to to get more familiar with the song and hear this part again uh, look the time here on, on on the screen and return hear this the, the, the theme and return you're gonna be able to 
uh, to recognize where am I in the song when I'm improvising just on the harmony, okay? Nice. Uh, it could take some days to do this for for uh, one, one uh, for some people and for some other people it will be and, and just uh, some some seconds to do this. Uh, what what matters here? It's just uh, uh, you do a, a consistent work uh, and r realize we, if you are respecting the chord notes okay for who improvises it's very common to use some other notes for me sometimes I, I, I put more notes but uh, try to be try, try to do this uh, respecting the rules okay it will be it will sound uh, it will help you to to know where are you stepping when you are improvising freely, okay? Um, next uh, step, uh, we let 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 let's going to let's go to revise. F uh, find the tempo you are playing. Improvise using notes of chord notes, okay? Using same quavers and uh, improve a difficult pieces of the, 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 the piece huh? and um, you won't have problems now with the um, with the notes when you don't have problems with the note we go we, we're going to stage two that we, we are going to use the the uh, the common uh, rhythms, ry rhythmic divisions of the samba, okay? Um, and the most common one is this, the syncopation, okay? It's so common to use the syncopation and the tied syncopation, when we tie one syncopation with another one, okay? Uh, and let me try to improvise the same with the same use of the the chord notes but using syncopations syncopation um, now I'm, I'm gonna tie syncopations okay ah I, I think an important thing about the syncopation is that uh, the middle note for example this if we we were in in in, in G clef uh, we the this A note that's in the middle it's has an emphasis or an accent okay I say accentuation da, da, da. or for example I'm, I'm gonna read like this okay withdrew a lot of and if you have difficulty in accentuation accentuate in this note uh, just study some scale okay and uh, now I'm 
going to 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 tie some some no uh, some syncopations uh and this is so interesting in in brazilian music because when i when i tie some some of the syncopations i creating a, a, a kind of floating sound where the melody never uh ends on the beat okay it's it's always up on a, on the up beat oh. Let me do it. can do this you can also mixture with another ideas ideas on samba and I'm sorry for the metronome but um, try to do these these ideas play syncopation uh, play to play 16 notes or and play uh, side syncopations um, try to make the easier possible let's let's now hear if I mixture these ideas okay one two Another important tip I would do it's to use the the rhythm of the melody. It's also a very nice, uh, a very good uh, resource to 
um, to give you more more language because the rhythm of the melody it's it's inside or all, all inside the language. Oh, let's let's try to to make an improvising using the melody of a pill, changing the notes. Okay. doesn't it then mixture these ideas and you have a, f a, a strong basis to improvise okay uh, another important thing uh, after that I'm going I'm, I'm going to tell in another live is to, to making uh, some designs that surround the cards okay that this would be the last step to to make the melody more interesting I'm going to use this resource if you want to see and know more about it uh, watching the other lives and uh, and if you want to see uh, I'm, I, I explaining this uh, in this song appeal I would you uh, write for me I would uh, I'm gonna do for you okay let me play, uh, play a, a free improvise in, in it
Thank you for watching Luciano Ruas of the Brazilian Accent Improvisation. If you like this subject we, we talk about today, please write some uh, write something for me uh, and uh, ask for more content you want. I'm here to answer you. Thank you. Bye bye.